here Lacey, John, Malcolm with us uh, for Principia College and if we possibly we will also try to film the rest of the crew here but um, well, tell us a little bit about your school uh, in terms of the size and what kind of uh, what kind of college uh, Principia College represents and yeah sure we're a small liberal arts college in Elsa Illinois we have about 500 students and we have actually no engineering department whatsoever. I was a biology major, um, but we're just a group of students who are interested in solar car and engineering technology and have all come together to build this um, as a group, even though we don't know very much about specific engineering tactics. And when we all come together and just want to learn about it, um, we've been able to come up with this design as a group and John can talk more about. Yes, this is a great learning process, isn't it? Yeah, it's a great learning process for our students. I'm a faculty advisor and Lacey's our team leader and she just graduated this year. Um, but it's an opportunity for students to have a hands-on project where they can research, you know, research, develop and produce, you know, a, a, a solar car. And, you know, they have to learn about the methods of how to do it and put all that together because they aren't taking classes about you know aerodynamics or electronics they have to kind of research that and find the resources that they need and put it all together um, and it's just a great opportunity like I said hands-on it's everything from building the car to the log logistics of you know booking all the hotels figuring out where we're going to stay taking 20 people and going across either you know the continent of Australia or you know several states in the United States that's a that's a feat of you know it's of a big a, a large scale so a lot of learning experience for management too yeah it's a, it's yes. a le learning from management and learning how to get you know cooperate as a team because it is a team we have 18 team members so they're constantly having to learn how to interact with each other in order to have a harmonious and productive team. I learned that the, your, there's a change in the rules in terms of the size of the uh, silicon cells in terms of it's going from what, nine to six square meters this year? Yeah, and did you have to change the car at all or is it uh, simply the size of the uh, cells? They, they've changed it over the years. It used to be eight square meters. Uh, and you could use eight square meters of either silicon or gallium, um, two different technologies. And they, they wanted to kind of, you know, make it a little bit more difficult because the cells were starting to get, you know, to the point where teams didn't have to manage their energy. They could just do the race and they didn't really have to worry about how much solar energy they had. So they reduced it from the eight square meters to six square meters. And then in this race is the first time that they've said you can't use gallium cells. Um, there is one car that is kind of grandfathered in. They're using a portion of their gallium cells, but most of the cars will be running silicon cells, and there's six square meters of silicon cells. Okay. Is there any problem that you did not anticipate before? Um, it's it's just they they the organizers are reducing the amount of energy you're getting from the sun. They're also reducing the amount of storage capacity that you have in the car. Um, we used to be able to use 30 kilograms worth of lithium ion batteries and lithium polymers. We're now down to 20 kilograms. So, you know, they're trying to make it a more, you know, at, at one point it was nicknamed the brain sport because, you know, it, imagine running an Indy car race and at the beginning of the race they don't tell you how much fuel you're going to have in order to participate in that race. That's, a, that's what we're doing essentially. You know, we come out on a beautiful day like this where there's a lot of sun. You know, we c we can go you know 50 miles an hour on just what we're getting off the sun. You know, if we go 100 miles west, it might be cloudy. You might not have that that abundance of energy. So you've got to you got to change your strategy based on looking at weather, looking at the elevation, um, looking at what today, what tomorrow, the next day, and plan out how much energy can we can we use in order to make it through the whole race? We have seen you've got supports from all over the places, including the alumni from the uh, um, Rochester, New yeah. York, and Principia is actually where? Well, it's, it's, it's in Illinois, but, it's, but I don't want people to downplay that it's a liberal arts college because there's no, the sky is the limit. Because my son-in-law who went to Principia College, he now has a doctorate in particle physics, and my daughter, 
they met each other at Principia College and got married right afterwards. Now she's in the last step of a doctorate in music. And the, because the foundation of liberal arts is such a broad base, it gives tremendous growth capability for any student to go on to a master's degree and a doctorate and do just as well as anybody else. And I taught for several months um, electronics back in 2008 at Principia College and the ability to grasp engineering principles um, it just shows you know with, with this car and when they when everybody else looks at Principia and say oh they're just a liberal arts college watch out <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because they, they really are capable of solving any kind of problem and there's a physics they have a physics um, classes as well you know that so so they get all the basics of engineering and math of course yes oh and math that's very important you know they go to advanced mathematics and when you see electronics changing all the time you know I spent my life in electronics and after two years you can be obsolete if you're out of it for two yeah. years but if you've got a grasp of basic fundamentals you can catch up again and be ahead of anyone so so Principia is a wonderful example of how individuals can really extend their abilities you know in any field that they want to go into yeah, what Malcolm said about we don't have engineering but that doesn't mean we don't practice right. engineering right. And we physics don't. and math yeah. which is the foundation of engineering where is Principia what city is it well there's well there's the college is in Elsa Illinois but then there's the upper and lower school you know that's in St. Louis so they're, they're two different com campus sites um, this was built right in the Illinois. Right, this is... This in, the, is in the Elsa, the Elsa, Elsa campus, College, yeah. the Elsa campus. And, you know, I've been down there many times when my daughter was graduate when she was there for four years, and we would drive down there regularly um, at all their events. Two-day drive. Oh, <laughs> I'm sure they all appreciate your support, really. Yeah, they, know, they know me, I've been there. Oh, very good. How many people are on your team? Uh, we have about 18 team members, as John was saying, and um, it's a small but very effective group. We love being with one another. Um, we have a lot of fun on the team, um, and we've just been able to have a great time just putting this car together, and uh, it's been a wonderful experience overall, and we're excited to race. Oh, fantastic. So. Well, thank you all. And is there anything you would like to, uh, John, tell us about any lessons you think uh, any future participants will be interested in knowing yeah I mean I think that that could go on for days but you know just the the importance of you know not limiting yourself not not focusing on saying that you know one of the things that makes our team such a special team is it's not limited to the double E's are the only people that are allowed to work on electronics or the mech E's can only do the mechanics um, because we don't have those classifications on our on our team it really opens it up to the ideas can come from anywhere um, and having that harmonious team where you can throw out ideas and it can be accepted and talked about and put into practice I think is, is the most important team thing for a new team. Fantastic and we certainly would be interested in seeing all people from all walks of life taking an interest in solar energy. Right. Well, thank you very much and signing off Susan Sun Nanamaker at sunisofuture.net and thank you. Thank you.